Hello, everybody. Hello. Okay, my name is Montia Wise, and this is a speech about wetlands. Some 60% of wetlands worldwide and up to 90% in Europe have been destroyed in the past 100 years, according to Think Global Green in 2008. So preserving wetlands is essential to the planet and the ecosystems. The school I go to, Cascadia Community College, has a restored wetlands. I took a class there where we used the wetlands as an outdoor, hands-on classroom. In this class, we learned about the difference of opinion on this topic. Some people think wetlands are important and that they should be ma maintained where others think that they serve no purpose. Next, I will talk about what wetlands are, what they do, I will talk about the growing population and the stresses we put on our Earth's resources, and I will talk about the wetlands at Cascadia, where I go to school. Um, wetlands are an area between, wetla between land and deeper water. According to Goslink and Mitch in the book Wetlands, wetlands are distinguished by the presence of water either at the surface or within the root zone. The three major functions of a wetland are flood control, filtering, and habitat. Ms. Midori, my environmental science teacher, referred to the wetlands as the kidneys of a landscape because they filter any pollutants or contaminants. So now we will look at how humans impact our Earth's resources. As the population grows, we put more and more stress on our Earth's resources. People look at the wetlands as an open space to build on. Ballet, who wrote the book um, Wetlands, said between 1780 and 1980, the population of North America grew from 82 million to 256 million, and during this time, 53% of the United States wetlands, excluding those in Alaska, were lost. Runoff is also a huge issue. When it rains, the water washes all pollutants and contaminants into the waterways, and this causes an overgrowth of algae, and the algae ends up taking all of the oxygen so that other plants and fish cannot live in the same area, which is called eutrophication. An interesting fact is that the states Ohio and California have altered 90% of their native wetlands, according to Ballet, who wrote Wetlands. And this was for farming and building purposes. Now we can look at a close-to-home example and look at the long-term benefits of restoring wetlands. Cascadia Community College and University of Washington Bothell utilize the wetlands on campus. According to the University of Washington Bothell website, the project started in 1998. There are 58 acres of restored wetlands and native plants are always being added to the site. The wetlands are not self-sustaining yet, but they should be in about 20 to 30 years. The long-term benefits of maintaining wetlands are photosynthesis because as a byproduct, oxygen is let off. The healthy soil promotes healthy plants and then there will be less erosion and less runoff because the plants act as speed bumps and slow down the water so there's less erosion and there will be a larger habitat for the biotic or living community. So in conclusion, we know why wetlands are being taken out, we know more about a local wetland and we know the stresses that we put on our earth's resources. That being said, preserving wetlands is crucial to the planet. Um, Ballet says in the book Wetlands that with upland and coastal development resulting in the loss of more than half of the world's wetlands, significant efforts are now underway to protect the 5 million square miles of wetlands that still remain. The end. <laughs> Very good, Mom.